So if you want to adjust what email addresses or what notifications you get from Canvas, sometimes you get way too much email from Canvas depending on your, your settings. So I'll show you how to do this. So uh, first off, let's go to notifications. So I clicked on my account and then notifications. Okay, now it'll, see, it'll be your, your whatever you have set up. If you don't have any image there, but it'll be your name there. And then what you'll have is under notifications, these are all the, like right now, all I have is uh, my VSC email addresses and all the different variations of it they automatically put in. And you can adjust what you get. And I notice I just have, because all four of these email addresses all go to this one account, I, I have the rest of them turned off. And then uh, I guess as a student, I would wanna have a due date uh, notification. Um, you want to have your announcements on. You can either do immediately or you see how they do immediately or weekly or you can turn them right off. I, I would, I know that's your call. I, I'd probably do it now. I don't send out that many announcements, so I would just do it uh, immediately. And then, of course, I'm in here as a teacher, so I can, you know, I want an announcement created by me. You, you won't have that option probably. And uh, grading, so once, and once you submit something here in Canvas and I, get, and I have to grade it, I grade it. Uh, you want a notification of that. Uh, I don't, invitations, I don't know what that is. I have it on. I don't know what it is. Uh, the things I want, though, make sure you have your submission comment. So when you turn in something to get graded by hand that I get a grade and go look at, um, often there's a place I can leave comments and you want to get a notification that's there. Now, right there at the daily summary, you could turn that back so it's immediately whatever you want. Um, you can turn it off, but in, in case I... In case I'm making the, I need something else, and I don't think to email you separately. You want to get that. Then uh, discussion posts. I, I don't know what discussion mention is. I usually have these all turned off in discussions. Um, this is when you start getting a lot of email when people start posting. So it's up to you. Uh, I, I don't know what that is to be honest with you. Um, the conversation. That's that inbox. So if you want to get email that you, we use this messaging system in Canvas get it sent to some other email address, you want to make sure you get that, you get that. And I would probably leave it on immediately. So what if, so the reason I make this video, because somebody asked me if they could send, if I could send the email to a different address. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Because right now, and probably for you too, you just have your default VSC uh, emails, right? So the way you do that is, let's see, we go to, how do we do this? We go to profile, and then maybe it's settings. Maybe we go to settings. <laughs> I just, yeah, here we go. Click on settings then see over here ways to contact. You can add an email address. You can also add a, a phone if you want a phone number. So you get a text message. Um, but somebody was asking me about an email address. So I'm going to add an email. And, and this Joe Fatabucci account is a, is, a, is, a, is a dummy student account that I have. Not a dummy student, but it's a fake student account I have with Oxbow to test things. So I'll add this here. So notice this is not even me. Well, it is me, but. Um, it's not, it could be somebody else. I don't know why you want to do that, but another email address is what we're looking for. So make sure I can get this email address typed in, right? And then they're going to send me confirmation. I got to click on it. You know how that works. So see that's there. So then I can come back to notifications. And then I can turn on whatever I want. See, I was just, it's been added right there. So, you know, I probably would have announcements as a student notify immediately. Um, I'm going to do my grading comment, submission comment. I'm going to turn that on, uh, notify immediately. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I want? I don't want to get into discussions, conversations. There we go. Conversation message, I want notify immediately. Okay. And then I don't use scheduling in Canvas, so um, I'd like to, but I use, uh, you know, I, I've got to share my time between you folks, uh, my online high school courses, and used to be Oxbow, but they aren't using me too much that way, but definitely, and I only have so much time in the week, so you guys are all working on the same pool, and something just kicked off here, what happened, here it is. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all what I would do. But so but that's that's how you do it. That's how you get another email address. Or you can even do a phone number if you wanted to and get a text message, but I don't I don't do that. Okay, so that's how you can add add an email. Now, 
when you get uh, official email from the college and and for me, like when I send out when I send out uh, midterm progress reports or midterm evaluations and the final evaluations, those are going to go to your your BSC account. So what you can do with that is go set up a forwarding neural, and I'm sure you can find how to do that. Or if you need help, give me a yell and we can walk through how to do that. It's just like any email program. Okay, so let's stop this video and I'll get it to you.